Almost a thousand people gathered at an anti-migrant demonstration in the German city of Chemnitz as right-wing sentiment continues to raise its head. Protesters hurled bottles at police who tried to disperse the crowd. <laughs> Let's go live now to RT's Peter Oliver, who's following the incident in Germany. Peter, Hello. good to see you. Can you tell us more about what prompted mm. such scenes? Well, yes, this all happened after the stabbing to death of a 35-year-old man in the early hours of Sunday morning. Um, this was after a fight that broke out uh, between uh, a group which includes what police have called foreigners. Um, this was after the city festival in uh, Kimnitz that was taking place on Saturday. It was supposed to continue into Sunday, but it was uh, called off following this group that had gathered and rampaged through the city. Um, it included, apparently, members of a far-right uh, a football hooligan outfit attached or loosely attached to the local uh, football club but the um, the fight which left a 35 year old man dead also left two other people seriously wounded in hospital police have made two arrests in connection with the killing but it's prompted opposition politicians to come out and say that the incident shows that the police can't keep um, well can't keep the peace and can't keep citizens safe in Germany right now or particularly in that city of Chemnitz. Now, Germany took in or has taken in over 1 million refugees and migrants since 2015, and how to correctly integrate them into society has proved problematic. In fact, the, uh, the most recent proposal that was put forward, which would have involved a year's worth of community service for some refugees, and an even in some cases uh, could see conscription into the military, well, that was dismissed by Angela Merkel as a viable option. I don't want to reintroduce compulsory military service. I've consulted with military chiefs. They all say that the profession of soldier is not what it used to be and has changed. Uh, Peter, can you give us an idea of the feeling in Europe over the issue in general? Well, it's not just in Germany that we've seen people speaking out on this recently. Uh, we, in France, we've seen one member of the, um, a leading member of the Republican Party there saying that the problem of integration was actually now becoming a fight for European identity. How can we fail to realize that we have reached the limit as regards integration and that this mass immigration of today poses a cultural threat to European civilization? But ultimately, we're three years on, over three years on now, from the first major influx of refugees and migrants into Europe, and we're still nowhere near finding a solution to how to integrate people as well as how to, um, well, how to take in people who are genuinely in need.